Congress is broken, and I'd like to help fix it. My name is Grant Bossy, and I'm running for Congress to return Congress to its core priorities, national defense, secure borders, and freeing the economy from the taxes, mandates, and overregulation that are slowing growth. Grown up in New Hampshire all my life, and I've seen government at the local, at the state, and at the federal level. I've seen it work well, and I've seen the price we all pay when it doesn't. Locally, as a reporter in Manchester, and then for a, a time in Lebanon, I attended school board meetings, and selectmen's meetings, and town meeting, the last form of true democracy that we have. And I've seen people get involved in their community. I've worked with local charities like the Listen Center and the United Way of the Upper Valley and Lebanon Rotary Club. People giving their time, their energy, their ideas to help make their communities just a little better. At the State House, I work with some extraordinary individuals who put their name on the ballot for the right reasons, not for the power or the glory, certainly not for the $100 a year, but in the honest belief that they could represent their communities at the State House in Concord, that their voice could be heard. And for the last five years, I've worked for Senator John Sununu in his Washington office and the legislative staff dealing with issues as diverse as taxes and Social Security to invasive species protection. Well, we're not really protecting the invasive species. So. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, John Sununu has never had a problem standing up to authority. He stood up to Democratic leadership, Republican leadership in the White House on any number of issues. He, he stands up for what he thinks is right. He explains why and how we voted, and he needs reinforcements. Congress has gotten off track. In the last five years, I've seen a Republican Congress lose its way in a maze of earmarks and backroom deals. I've seen a Democratic Congress that ran on a platform of change adopt the same corrupt practices and invent a couple new ones of their own. I think we can do better than that. I think we need to get back to our core responsibility to the federal government. First one, of course, is national security. We are in a global war against an evil ideology that wants to bring a new dark age upon the world, and we need to win. One battleground in that war is in Iraq. For the last year, we've had a mission that's working, and we've seen progress. Paul Hodes, at the time, opposed the surge. He said it couldn't work. His wor he said it was too little, too late, and he didn't see any reason why he thought it would bring about any positive results. Well, he, he was wrong then. He just returned from his first trip to Iraq, and he's grudgingly had to admit that the surge is working. But he won't admit, grudgingly or not, that he was wrong a year ago when he opposed it. <laughs> he had a chance to support the troops with a clean funding bill. He voted with Nancy Pelosi and Jack Murtha for pork barrel spending. He voted against every attempt to strip that wasteful spending from the bill. And when Senate Republicans stood up and insisted on a clean bill, he voted against it. He was wrong. You can't secure our nation unless you can secure our borders. There's a lot we need to do to improve our immigration system, but the first step is to build a fence along our southern border. Congress made a promise to do that, and Congress has failed to fund it. Paul Hodes voted against funding that fence. We need to restore the public's faith that Congress is serious about illegal immigration. Paul Hodes went on a field trip, must be an election year. He went to San Diego, he looked at the fence. The same fence that I saw when I was in San Diego last year. The same fence that's cutting violent crime and illegal drugs in downtown San Diego. He saw that fence. He came back here, and his solution is a virtual fence. I think he's wrong. I don't think traffic cameras and motion detectors will do enough. He wants a virtual fence, and I want an actual fence. But we can keep us both happy. You can virtually vote for Paul Hodes then actually vote for me. <laughs> we need to free our economy from the taxes, the mandates, the overregulation that are stifling growth. We've seen record prosperity over the last six years in the United States, but the only thing that's faster and stronger than the American economy is Congress's appetite to spend your money. And our economy is buckling under the weight of that excessive spending. It's absolutely out of control, and inherent to that system are the corrupt earmarks that just shred any respect for taxpayer dollars. They think it's their money. They're taking your money, and then they're trying to buy your vote with it. Earmarks aren't about getting money back to New Hampshire or New York or California. They're about taking credit. <coughs> we don't need earmarks 
to make sure valuable projects are funded. We only need earmarks if members of Congress want to put out press releases and have photo opportunities. Paul Hodes ran against earmarks. He said he was going to reform the system. He's failed. I don't think we can reform an inherently corrupt system. I think we have to abolish it. Paul Hodes has been wrong on national security. He's been wrong on immigration. He's been wrong on spending and earmarks. I think we can do better. I believe in free speech, free peoples, and free markets, and I relish the opportunity to defend these ideas throughout this campaign. I'm looking forward to this campaign. I'm looking forward to your support. I'm looking forward to your questions. Thank you very much.